everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are embellishing a paint, an acrylic pour painting using stamps with um, embossing powder. Um, today's materials are uh, embossing powder yellow by Ranger. Ooh, sorry, can't get it to focus. There you go. Uh, we're going to be using Stamp Abilities. Um, acid free ink pad for embossing. Um, it's slow drying ink, so that's crucial. Um, I've tried with some other, um, not necessarily ink pads, like I've used other ink pads, and as long as you're fast, it works just fine. But um, like our previous videos where I'm using the pens, the slow drying ink pens, um, those you have to use if you're using that. I've tried some really wet pens that for specific for like brush lettering or other crafts, those don't work. Um, even as fast as you can go, it doesn't stick. Um, and then we're using three stamps. Um, these are from also from Stamp Abilities. I think they're all from Stamp Abilities. Oh no, this one's from Judy and Ken's. We're using these uh, butterflies here, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, just a few things that I want to tell you because I was re-watching some of the videos that you've already seen. And I, was, I completely forgot to tell you this. Um, whenever we use that heat gun to heat up the embossing powder, you want to watch it really quick carefully because it can, like, burn your paint. Like, it is heat. Um, your paint is set. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to be careful with that because it can happen. <laughs> um, even just like doing it on the, uh, embossing powder for too long can like make it bubble more than it should be. Um, so just some information there for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I've already done two of the stamps. Hopefully I'm remembering where I'm putting all these little guys. And hopefully these will work just fine. Um, there's some of the issues with doing the stamps on the canvas is you want to stay away from the edge unless you have something to prop the back of your canvas up with. Because, and I'm sorry, we're getting some weird lighting from the window. Um, but because um, it'll like stamp really well here and it won't stamp very really well on the part without the, the wood where the wood's not located. Um, so if you're going to do that, definitely like provided some support underneath um, would be my recommendation. Okay, and that did not work. Wah, wah. So, as I've said on prior videos, once you do this, I'm just gonna dust it all off, wait a day, and do it again. The reason for waiting a day is because that slow drying ink will still be on your canvas. Um, oh, and the other thing I've told you is don't do this part over your good embossing powder because it will kind of clump together. So I'm just going to move it over here. This um, tab tablecloth needs to be removed in a new one placed down anyways. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and load this one for you guys just so you can see a fail. Um, cause we all have them, <laughs> but yeah, still, uh, save your, save your powder. It'll be good for next time. Uh, maybe we'll try this on a different canvas here in a little bit. See if we can get it to stick. So apparently, um, even when you're keeping it all on the main portion of the canvas, not around the edge at all. It apparently still needs some support. So now that we've learned that <laughs> together, um, we will keep practicing this. And yeah. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And do what makes you happy.